Michael Bridges' points today for the Brooklyn Nets looks fantastic. We're going to talk through that play. Head over to Odds Jam Fantasy. Check out the Underdog Fantasy Optimizer tool and try to find some green boys to cash out. And we are also going to give away money because on our first stream last week, we said, if this slip cashes, and if you tell or if you don't tell, all you had to do was comment and you win free money, we're giving that away right now. Let's get it. Welcome back in to Straight to the Bank. Y'all know who it is, your boy Ray G. You can find me on X at Ray GQ, joined as always by my man, my partner in crime, Jay Rich. You can find him at your boy Jay Rich, and we talked about it at the beginning of this episode. We did cash out on almost both of the plays, man. Kitiyama, whatever his name is, Jay, kind of screwed Kurt us from Kitty the golf Yama. plays. But we did, we did, we did cash our first underdog fantasy slip over here on this stream, on this channel. So we must give away some bread. Let's show the play that we cashed in right here. It was uh, Denny, lower than one and 1.5 three-pointers made. Gary Trent, lower than three and a half rebounds. And then Rudy Gobert. Jay, this was a sweaty one, but your boy did come yep. through for us. Higher than 27 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. So I will be posting in the comments of the video the winner of that $25 entry. All you got to do is DM Destination Devi. We'll get you your bread, get us your cash app. We'll be doing the same thing today. Whichever slip we build out, if you tail that slip, comment in the comments below. Hashtag all gas. We will give it away the entry fee for that slip, Jay. But we got to get into it. You know how underdog bump stuff. What do we have for today's plays to give the people to cash out tonight, baby? So you kind of let it off with Mikhail Bridges, and this is a phenomenal play. You could try and pull it up on the optimizer if you want, but at 17 and a half points, Ray, it is a banger of a play. When I was looking up the lines on the different sports looks, we have minus 128 as the lowest line at 17 and a half, minus 130, minus 140. But then we have three books already at 18 and a half. So already you're getting quite a bit of value. Some books heavily juiced to the over and some already bumped to 18 and a half. So Bridges is one of my favorite plays. He's also hit in three of his last four games going over 18 points. Now he did play 47 minutes against Washington, yeah. but he has Chicago today. It is a top 10 matchup in the NBA. So it is a great spot for a small forward to score against Chicago. He's going to have a tough defensive assignment, but I think this is a great play. And from a data perspective, when you're looking at the sports books and how they price this out, it's a phenomenal play from that perspective as well. So how are you feeling about McCall Bridges over 17 and a half points on underdog? Hey, you told me you told me the data's there. It matches up. You like the data, so let's roll with the play, man. You know, I don't I don't do too much other than following the math and trusting the books, Jay. So if you say it's a good play, we're gonna rock with it, man. Official pick right here, McCall Bridges, higher than 17 and a half points. I am gonna go over to the Odds Jam Optimizer. You can use this tool to to it helps you just scan the market, trying to find some of the best plays. And right now you can see no green boys being printed, but you can see. Uh, we, we could take a look at just some plays right here. You got Kevin Durant, first quarter points. You get minus 122 odds over here on Underdog Fantasy. And then you could compare it against some of the other books right now. So it's in a decent range, but nothing that uh, nothing that I have to take right now, Jay. Kyle Schwarber, over one and a half batting strikeouts. MLB just oh. kicked back yesterday. <laughs> Are there anything else that you're looking at, Jay, that we can kind of run over here on Underdog that you like? I mean, I was looking at PJ Washington as well. He was another one that his line was surprisingly low. Uh, so if you want to pull him up, the center for the Dallas Mavericks playing Sacramento today, he's actually in a pretty good matchup from just kind of that perspective alone. You look at the matchup, it's a top 10 matchup as well for his points at 10 and a half. And he also scored, I believe, 14 points in the last game he played, which was against Sacramento. So again, they're doing like kind of a back to back thing here. Playing against Sacramento again, he's only at 10 and a half, minus 140 on DK right now. I haven't looked to see what it is on the other books, but it does doesn't look, look a pretty like decent PJ's play. Doesn't look like PJ's on right now. We don't got any PJ up right now. No PJ. Oh, he was... No, you got, he, he should be... At least he's on... I have him up right now if you wanted to pull him up. But um, yeah, he does look like a pretty good play. He does look like a pretty good play. He's still showing up on me. But then the other one, Ray, I wanted to ask you because there's two that I'm debating between. I'm debating going back to Steph Curry. Oh, PJ's because Steph right here. Curry, Hold up. PJ's yeah, right yeah. here. What'd you want to run with PJ? Ten and a half? Ten and a half points. Ten All and a half right. points. So he scored 14 last game. And then I wanted to ask you, between Steph Curry and Tyrese Halliburton, 
at 33 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Steph let me down, but he shot really bad against Orlando. He can definitely shoot better than that. And then you have Tyrese, who's playing your Lakers, who, if anyone tailed the Desmond Bain play, Desmond Bain put up like 45 yes, points, rebounds, and assists. He yes, absolutely he cooked the Lakers. So whether it's Steph Curry or Tyrese Halliburton, both look pretty good. Tyrese scares me a little bit because he only scored 12 points last time he played the Lakers. But the two games before that, he scored 25 plus, at which point he would hit over this 33 and a half. But which one would you prefer, Steph Curry or Tyrese Halliburton at 33 and a half points, rebounds, and assists? Oh, man. Halley versus the Lakers, just the matchup, what Bain just did against him. I really like that. Steph Curry clearly exhausted and pissed off from the antics of Draymond Green should come out hot versus Charlotte tonight. I like both of these plays, Jay. I, I honestly like both of them. Um, what we're going to do, how about we do this? We'll run we'll run Hallie in this slip. We'll run Hallie in this slip. We'll drop 15 on that. We'll drop 15. So if you tail this pick right here, Michael Bridges higher than 17 and a half points. P.J. Washington higher than 10 and a half. Tyrese Halliburton higher than 33 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. If you tail this slip, I'm going to give you your entry fee back if it cashes. All you're going to have to do is tail it, send a DM to Destination Devi on X, show us a screenshot of the tail, and I got you. So it's literally, if you comment all gas, you got a shot to win a protected slip over here on Underdog. So I like that one, Jay. So let's build one out with Steph Curry. I kind of want to go Curry and Halley in this slip. Can we go Curry, Halley, okay. and maybe the optimizer yeah. can pull us pull pull something else up for us? Yeah, yeah, we could look at that. Um, and the other guy I was looking at was Kevin Durant's points. They've been bouncing around a little bit. But, yeah, Curry's another one that the data still likes him today, even though the line is kind of interesting. You know, you see a lot of books are at 33.5 right now, but we do have FanDuel and Bet Rivers up to 34.5. So they are giving Curry even a bump after his poor performance against Orlando. Obviously, Charlotte, much different animal. And um, he has been playing quite well. So I still like Steph tonight. I still think that what he did last game with all the assists he got was kind of where he's going to go over this number. He just didn't score well enough. But I think he can definitely score well enough tonight against Charlotte. All right, we'll pull, we'll pull something from the optimizer right now and see if we can get an early read on some things that will clear up. And a lot of times, Jay, when you're using this tool on Odds Jam, They'll show up red for the time being until some more action comes in on the books. It's still early in the morning, and you'll start to see these lines bump and move around a little bit. Let's check the EV tool really quickly. Let's check the EV tool. Just see if anything is up. There's some stuff on there from Fliff. That's nice. A little two-pick on Fliff if you wanted to run that. But from the underdog perspective, Jay, let's go to this. Go back to it. There's prize picks. We'll go to underdog. Ooh, yes. Hmm, Brent, who's this uh under Brent Rooker? What, what are we what are we what are we thinking about this play right here, Jay? Not Rooker's, bad. <sighs> Rooker's all right. The thing with Rooker that's funny is that he's last season he started the year super hot. I was so looking at the matchup against Logan Allen. It's a lefty righty, which is a slight advantageous pr perspective for him. It's about neutral. Uh he's faced off against him once. He's got no hits against him. The biggest pitch for him that's gonna be an issue. Looking like the curveball, which Logan Allen's curveball is really good. Rooker's fine. You know, it's it, he's a guy who's probably not going to do much against Logan Allen. And yesterday, I believe Cleveland got shut out. They played terribly yesterday. Uh, Shane Bieber absolutely destroyed them. So I don't mind the underplay here. It's it's the right matchup. Uh, Logan Allen is going to get it done. He's going to pitch well. And the Cleveland bullpen has been phenomenal. So you look at what's probably going to happen tonight. Oakland's probably not scoring more than two runs. And if you look, talk about the hits, runs, RBIs, the RBI chances could be there from the, where he is in the lineup. But outside of that, it's going to be difficult. He'll probably have to do it on his own. Well, we went ahead and locked it in. Then we doubled down with Tyrese Halliburton and Steph Curry. We went Tyrese Halliburton and Curry higher than 33 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. And then we went with Brent Rooker lower than one and a half hits, rebound, runs, and RBIs. <laughs> so we took a lower on that MLB play. It's right here at the top of the optimizer right now, minus 120 odds on the five man, but it's probably going to set up. You're seeing minus 140 on DK and Bet MGM, minus 150 juiced on Fliff. Nothing on Penn, FanDuel, Bet Online, or Bovada right now. So there's two slips that we just dropped for you. Two slips over on Underdog Fantasy that you can tell. We will drop the link to these slips in the description if you tell and it caches. And you also put a comment in the section, all gas, hashtag all gas. You will have a chance to win $15, your entry fee back on this video. And there weren't very many people that watched the last video, Jay. So we only have a couple of people hey, to choose from. Very good odds to get that yeah. money. So if you're new to Underdog Fantasy, make sure, make sure, make sure 
We have a draft stream coming up for the NFL Draft. And if you sign up to Underdog Fantasy using code DDD, you get a chance to win one of 10 jerseys and other sports memorabilia that we'll be giving away during the draft. You don't even have to watch the damn stream. Just sign up to Underdog Fantasy using code DDD. This is a B. John Robinson card and signed jersey from the stud running back from the Atlanta Falcons. Use that code DDD, get your deposit matched up to $100 and get your chance to get yourself entered into this giveaway contest to win some of the dope stuff that we'll be giving away on NFL Draft Night. Appreciate you being in the building. Thank you for tapping into the show. We'll be back on Monday with more underdog picks. Good luck if you tail and make sure you come back in next week. Wake up underdog picks. We appreciate y'all. Good luck. We out. Peace. Peace.